My name is Mike Delator. I'm going to be talking to you about the toy gun safety today. Pan the room. Today my speech is going to be on toy gun safety. Many parents allow their children to play with toy guns. In America, it's a huge market for toy gun manufacturers to manufacture toy guns that simulate real firearms. A lot of parents allow their children to play with toy guns, and it's absolutely dangerous to let a child play with a toy gun that doesn't have an orange tip on it, or that actually mimics a real firearm without some type of safety signaling device that can show law enforcement or other people that have to see the child play with the firearm or play with the toy gun that simulates a firearm and not be able to recognize it as a toy. Parents. Um, absolutely have to educate their children on the uh, perils of using a, a toy gun that simulates a real firearm and what can happen to them if they uh, take the orange tip off and if they uh, you try to display it as a real firearm. It's absolutely a personal choice for a parent to allow a child to uh, play with a toy gun. It, both sides go back and forth. There's good arguments on each side. Regardless of the argument, regardless if you're for it or against it, uh, a, a good responsible parent would educate their child on the, um, the safety of using a, a, a gun. Um, obviously, going over some safety rules with a child um, regarding any type of firearm is a good thing. In today's society, we find our, ourselves in a very violent society where we have uh, motion pictures that constantly display violence and the use of firearms. TV shows that do the same. They show people using firearms in a reckless manner with total disregard for firearm safety. Being a firearms instructor, this absolutely appalls me. Um, I see this uh, as a police officer. I've seen this on the street. Uh, personally, I've come across <coughs> young people that have altered um, fire or toy guns to make them look like real firearms. Put it and put them in a pretty bad position where they're looking down the barrel of a real gun. Many parents um, don't want to talk about this with their children, and that's a huge mistake, I believe, in my opinion. I think you should talk to your children about firearms and about firearm safety if you allow your child to play the toy gun or not. We have uh, education is, is absolutely a must in this, in this subject. Today I brought some uh, toy guns with me. Um, obviously, the manufacturer of this, this toy gun, it, it is obviously that it's a, it's a toy gun. It's not a real gun. It, it opens up, you put little derf, Nerf darts in the front of it, you close it, you cock it, and it shoots a puff of air, expels a little foam dart that uh, hits, uh, has such a cup that you can shoot it against glass or the wall or the refrigerator. If you were to shoot somebody with it, um, it wouldn't hurt anybody. It's a very low velocity, so it's uh, it wouldn't hurt anybody at all. And it's quite obvious that it's, it's, it's a, not a firearm, a real gun. The next one I have is a simulated small revolver. Looks like a Western revolver. Obviously, it's uh, quite small and not real. However, in a dark alley or in low light conditions, um, this could actually be mistaken for a real gun. It mimics a real revolver. It has an actual working, it's a cap gun. It has an actual working action on it. Um, it has a hammer that can be pulled back, a trigger that can be pulled with a, with a snapping motion. Um, it looks like a real gun. The problem I have with this gun is that it has a, it does not have an orange tip. And the orange tip is missing and that's a, uh, that's not a good thing for this gun. This gun, I've come across people um, in the past that have committed robberies with a gun just like this, spray painted it black, and it looks just like a real gun. People, you know, you're not gonna take the chance if somebody's pointing this at you, if it's real or not, I wouldn't take the chance. So letting a child play with this, um, I, would, I would find very irresponsible. This is something I've taken off the street from, from people and um, we dispose of these. This, as you can see, is, is a toy gun. Next I have is a very expensive toy gun that 
is uh, that mimics an 18K MP5. This is common use for our uh, SWAT teams, anti-terrorist teams. We've been using this gun for many years. This is an extremely um, powerful firearm. However, this one mimics it. It's a toy gun. It has a battery in the back. It has a little air compressor. And the air compressor creates puffs of air that shoot out little plastic balls. It's an airsoft gun. As you can see, the plastic, um, the orange plastic identifier for this gun was a little for plastic ring. It's my personal gun. I spray painted the tip orange just to make sure that there was no, um, no doubt that this was not a real firearm for somebody that saw it. Most police officers that see this would actually identify this as, as a real gun. It feels like a real gun. It has working sights. The magazine comes in and out. It looks like it feels like a real magazine. It's made out of metal and plastic. It feels it's the same size and same shape. This type of, of toy could get somebody really hurt bad. Um, as you can see, it looks and feels like a real firearm. With that in mind, if you're for or against it, it doesn't really matter. Education is the key. You've got to educate a child on the perils of the use of a real firearm and a toy gun. You have to, I would suggest that you, you talk to your children about firearms and how you feel about it, how you, the parent, feel about firearms. And it's not, the problem is not about you and your child, it's about when your child someday interacts with another child and they come across a gun. There's, and the National, or, um, NRA puts out a, uh, a really good child safety video on, um, on Ed, about Eddie Eagle, who's this eagle who goes around and tells children firearms, teaches them firearm safety, um, and teaches them how to stop, don't touch, leave the area, and tell an adult if they come across a gun. Um, the video is a very good video, and it teaches children, regardless if you're allowed to play with a toy gun or not, to stop, don't touch it, and go find an adult and get away from it. Uh, that's, that's an absolute must for every child, especially in, our in today's society, that uh, th this is a lesson to be taught. We teach this in schools, uh, we teach this to civic groups, Boy Scout groups, and this is absolutely a must. Um, ultimately, it is a parent's responsibility to educate their children about the difference between a toy gun and a real gun. Even if the parent decides not to allow the child to play, Education is an absolute key, is an absolute must. Without this type of education, it could have deadly consequences. Uh, it could be catastrophic. This is the one way to keep our children safe.